So I'm writing a book called The Age of Context, and part of that process is getting around and seeing startups that are doing cool things with Facebook friends and information about the world. And Snooks is one of those companies we're gonna hear about right now. Who are you? I'm Ayelet Knopf. I uh, started uh, Blonde2O, which uh, is a social media agency, actually the largest social media agency in Israel. Started in 2006, back when uh, social media was still in its infancy. And um, basically, I love social media, everything related to social tech. That's my world. Very cool. Who are you? <laughs> My name is Guy Corey. Uh, my day job and my day job I'm VP Digital for BBDO in Tel Aviv, in other words in advertising. And uh, the, my night job, which is the cool part, is I'm the founder of Snooks. And also, who are you? My name is Eyal Rivlin. Uh, I'm here as the CEO of Snooks. Um, I was born and raised in a kibbutz in Israel. I worked at AAA.com. I was the CEO in Gibraltar. Then I moved to the startup world. I ran a user-generated content website for the last seven years, and now I'm here to, to run uh, Snooks as a CEO. So you guys are entering into a really crowded space. It's a space with Yelps and Foursquares and all that, and you're trying to help me live my life based on my friends, right? So I, I can find everything exactly. from TVs to place to eat, right? Exactly. Um, if we go on about it, people are recommending to each other millions and billions of times a day offline. In other words, as we were talking before, if you want to go, you're coming to Tel Aviv, right? You want to go to a cool bar and you want to go to the best beach, you'll probably pick up a phone to the person that you know or you'll ask them on Facebook. And yeah, we're, car we're calling. Oh, you're I calling. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Even though if you want to go to clubs, call me. <laughs> Believe me, Rocky and I did just that when we came to Tel Aviv. All right. There you go. <laughs> I take good care of them in Israel. Yeah. Exactly. And what we found out is you don't have that online. You don't have that immediate, sorry, immediate response. You don't have that, you know, I want to go the, to this place right now and find out what to do and what do my friends tell me. You don't have that area yet. Nobody's yeah. really cracked that area. And that is what we're trying to do. We're trying, trying to take that day-to-day -day recommendation, asking, uh, you know, and help and kind of put it on steroids using social and everything else. Yeah, I think this is going to be a big trend with the, the, I call it the age of context, but it has to do with uh, five things, right? Wearable computing, like the glasses. Yeah, that's, uh, that's exciting. More and more sensors, so you're going to be able to follow me around. Uh, you know, the cell phone has right. seven sensors, and uh, soon I'll have 22 sensors on a wristband and stuff like that. Uh, big data, so you guys are going to be able to go through lots of likes very quickly and find me answers to exactly. things. Exactly. Right. and maturing social networks because we're putting more and more data every day into Facebook and Google Plus and Twitter and all that. Exactly. I think it's become more, as you, you call it, age of context, and uh, which is great because exactly what we're doing. And I think it's a bit more than that because suddenly content and context become a utility. Yeah. It actually helps you. And not uh, just for fun, you know, for entertainment. This is something that will really help you right now find out the best things that you want to do and people recommend you to do. And I think that's pretty exciting. So when you start up Snooks, what do you have to do? You have to add, probably add your Facebook? What, what? Facebook Connect, that's it. That's it? Yeah. That's it. Okay. And you can automatically create a profile very easily, you know, because people have already put their likes or, or you know, favorites. their favorites on Facebook. Yeah. So it's quite easy to, to get started. And, and, and this is um, early for you guys, right? I, because yeah. I have 5,200 likes. The average person only has 20 or 30 likes on Facebook. That's uh, true. And so the average person probably hasn't given you enough data to really come back with some interesting stuff, right? Yeah. Well, again, I think that you know, as uh, people use social and you, you know, get more likes and, and start utilizing these tools more, obviously the system will get smarter. Yeah. Um, the more people use the system, the more it gets uh, smart. As especially, you know, I think that one of the uh, things that Yelp uh, lacks in, or or any of these other tools today. Um, is the fact that um, there is no system of, you know, for example, if you recommend something and he recommends something, I have no way of knowing which one of you is right. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Whereas in Snooks, you have that differentiation because you know, for example, that if I, you and I have the same taste in food, 
then I know to trust your recommendation over his recommendation. Yeah. And so I don't have that differentiation factor in, in Yelp. Does it show, so if I was asking about barbecue places, for instance, um, one thing that's wrong with Yelp is um, somebody who's only been to one barbecue place in their, in their lives can write a review and can rate it badly for whatever. I want to only pay attention to people who have been to five barbecue places because those people have context of you know, how this one rank, ranks on the, on the scale. Two points that I would like to, to mention here. First is in comparison to Yelp, where you see negative review and positive review, one star, five star, three stars, you don't know the people. Here you get only the best, because Snooks is all about the best of Ayelet. You can't find their things that people are not recommending. So yeah. if you want to go somewhere, this is the place that you'll get. Here I should go not those places that you should avoid. This is one thing. Second is the fact that the, the one stars uh, will not be there. This is first. Second is that the algorithm that we are working on will provide you first the best friends that you have based on some kind of parameters that we run through behind the scenes. We'll see the best friends first, yep. and then you know friends of friends, and then the rest of the market that you don't know probably. Yep. And we will have some criteria that will show that barbecue, for example, if you were searching for, we will know who are your friends that actually have more information about bar barbecues than the others. T today you guys are using just uh, Facebook. You're not looking at Foursquare or Yelp or other mm -hmm. information. Not yeah, for not now yet. it's only Facebook Connect. And which, which is good for some things. You know, people click like on a certain kind of thing. Um, you know, Red Bull gets lots of likes, right? right? Yeah. But the local Iranian place in London doesn't get a lot of likes. So yeah. it will probably take some time. You know, it's a matter of evolution that will happen naturally. But we we hope that the viral uh, this platform will be very viral and, and useful and bring a real value, as I mentioned before, for friends. So they will cover statistically. You know, all our friends cover most of worlds of content eventually. Plus right. we also have yeah. like, a, for example, on Foursquare, you know, when, when somebody gives a tip and then you, you save that tip or you do that tip, then that tip is rated higher. Yeah. So, so same concept is going to be on Snooks, for example, where, you know, recommendations that have been followed more or will be, yeah. will surface more on top. Okay. So there'll be a, a learning, there's a, a learning, there's a learning system. system. Yes. And also feedbacks from the community that we have a Bravo feature, you'll find it on Snooks. If yeah. I went to a hotel based on your recommendation and I enjoyed, I'll give you a bravo. This will bring you up the ladder, yeah. et cetera. So it's not just about traveling or eating, though. It, it does it's about everything. Everything that it's about that's likable on Facebook, yeah. everything. So it's not just likable on Facebook. You can create your own content here. Like okay. if you have the, your favorite books, I'm sure people love to know what Robert Scoble is reading right now. No, but there's entire services just about books. Right I know, there. but the thing is you yep. get everything. I mean, you can go to this site for travel and that site for books and the other site for movie, and here you have everything, but One as I said, place. in the context of your friends, yeah. which, is, uh, which is the most important in part. In the context of your friends and your friends who are, you know, uh, uh, the expertise level is obviously right. also important, yeah. right? So you have yeah. your friends, but then the fact that we're friends doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to like the same food. So again, we yeah. have two different factors here that the algorithm takes into uh, account. Okay. Um, so is it like highlight and it's comparing our likes? And so highlight saying is more based on like geo. Location. Yeah, but it shows me all the likes that we have in common, so I can say, oh, that person looks like the, right. So they have three three hundred likes in common. Yeah. That person probably is good to hang out with, right? Mm -hmm. Versus somebody who has no likes in common, you know. And so we do this visual ranking, I guess. Right. Right. Um, the algorithmic ranking here is, you know, it's endless work that we're working uh, behind the scenes and <laughs> improving it. All the time. Yeah, exactly. It's so much information that we should take in and into consideration before presenting the results. Uh, but, but again, you know, when you get, you look for a movie and you have Guy and the Yellet as your friends, and Guy is the movie guy, then you will probably rely on his word. And yeah. this is the strength here. Do of, of after the after I go and and visit that restaurant or whatnot that my friends are uh, recommending, do you ask me to? rate it myself so that it, it improves because maybe she suggests some place that's really crappy. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what he said before. That's the Bravo, you have a, so which is yeah. like our like button. 
It's a, you enjoy her recommendation, give her a bravo, that'll, you know, it'll be a kind of a setting of your, your relationship as well. Usually people will only uh, do that if, that's, if it's an extraordinary experience or if it really sucks. The, the right. middle, you know, if, it, if, it's, if it's pretty good, I probably won't do mm -hmm. either of That's those, okay right? because we want the best. Yeah. That's the thing, that's why the answer said. This is all about the best recommendations friends and people can give to each other, not mediocre stuff and not reviews and one to five, just the yeah. fives. Interesting. Um, and uh, you're showing me uh, on a laptop, but you have a mobile. Uh, tell me about the mobile clients. We'll be coming out with the mobile in a couple of months. And the mobile, which is the biggest difference from obviously laptop, is geolocation in real time. For instance, let's just say you're standing in front of a movie screen and here in the States you have like 20 movies playing at the same time and you don't know which movie to go to. You're on a date, and you want to impress your girl, and you don't know which movie to go to. Everyone has their movie guy, their perceived expert on movies, but you don't, don't want to call him right now. You just, okay, I'm, into the, I'm in the app, it'll know. You're standing in the Lowe's Theater. These are the 20 movies that are playing right now, and this is the movie your friends should tell you should go to. Yeah. And that'll be like, we hope it'll work like magic. Okay, in other words, it knows I'm here, it knows this is what is, what's playing, and this is what I'm going to, and I'm going to go get that ticket right now. Well, it'd be really interesting. Are you thinking of aggregating data from Rotten Tomatoes or from Yelp or from other things or Foursquare into this so I can see that other data? Because otherwise, I'm going to have to just open up three, three separate apps because I'm, I'm an app guy and I, I use yeah. different apps. Um, first of all, we're hoping that the power of friendship will be more powerful than needing all the other data. But yes, um, I, we probably will in the future aggregate as much content as is possible. But we want it to be not confusing. Yeah. That's the most important thing. This is supposed to be a kind of a decision-making platform, not an not a inquiry-making platform. So yeah. In other words, your friends tell you to go to this place, and like in real life, if I told you, dude, this is the best bar in Tel Aviv, you'll probably go to that bar, right? Or you'll Maybe. ask a yelling. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I that... First. <laughs> Always I yell at first. I yell first. Okay. <laughs> if a yell it says, if a yell it says, and you trust her, and the yell it says, go, this is the best part right. in Tel Aviv, you go that's there. She hasn't misled us yet. You can stop the interview, that's it. This is the thing. She hasn't, she hasn't misled us yet. <laughs> um, but this is exactly this is the, 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 the yeah. difference here is that when you look for like Google Places or Yelp, when you go in Fifth Avenue, and you want to see the best restaurant around you, so places show you, you know, all kinds of restaurants, but we want to yeah. show you your friend's recommendation. You know, I, I was just in Aspen talking about some of this stuff, and um, a lot of times uh, when Ayelet says something's cool, word gets around, and then a place gets popular, and the quality and goes down, <laughs> right? And then she's on <laughs> some other, she's on some other bar that's even better, and the rest of the crowd only remembers which, you know, what's popular. Yeah. Um, how do you make sure that you're always looking for the new cool thing that's up and coming, and as well as showing me the popular one that so, was the so standby? So one of, one of the ways that we're going to market is basically going to those, we're finding the influencers in different categories, whether it's travel, cooking, whatever, yeah. and we're finding those influencers and we're going to get them on the platform before we actually launch. So we're going to get them in there about a week before. We're going to give them more time. We're going to give them all kinds of social incentives as well in order to um, to be on the platform. Okay, very cool. Um, and are are you going to let me see anything about where I am? You know, if you if you're a friend of mine do you, and I check in on Facebook at a certain bar or something, can, would that show up on the UI at all? Or we will show you the geolocation that you are at. Well, yeah. the, the, how does that show up on the, the mobile app? On the mobile on the app, mobile it'll show exactly. me where I actually am. Exactly. If I want, where friends are at the same and I assume time. that's an opt-in kind of thing, so that yeah, definitely. I don't want IL it no, to always know. To know where you are right now. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about something before that I think is very interesting. Like you said, when the Google Glasses comes out yeah. and yeah, people opt in to where they are, and you're traveling, let's say you're in Tel Aviv right now with your glasses on, and you know where IL it is. Well, that's your choice, then, if you want to meet her or not. But for sure, if she recommends a place right next to you, probably go there. Mm -hmm. yeah. And for it be like on the glass, it'd be like a small arrow pointing, go that way. Yep. The yellow says. That's what, no, that's what I'm assuming is going to show up. That, that there's going to be all sorts of apps and experiences, and probably you'll yeah. be building apps that will hook in. We just don't know how far Google is going with these things. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah. We have to see the, uh, I'm sure they're building a new operating system that's going to know whether you're walking or skiing or driving. And then they're going to have an API that 
you guys can hook into it and display mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. and display what your friends are saying about what's around you right now yeah. which is which is cool like if usually you develop stuff for the next stage and people always think the next stage is mobile and we're now looking at Google Glasses for instance or yeah. whatever Apple and Oakley come up with yeah and I think it'll be a really great experience and it becomes even more important to have a decision making platform and not just a review or a content con congregation platform. Yeah. Because if you're walking around, as you said, with Google Glass or whatever, you want to know what your friend's saying, you should really go that way, not just figure out where you want to go and discover stuff. Yeah. But go to yeah. that place because that is the best and you trust that person, you'll probably go there. I think there's lots of services today that are trying to, to enter and, and the recommendations. Uh, uh, space. Space yes. and uh, I think at the end of the day, it's going to be a combination, really, of who does the best job as far as interface, as far as experience, as far as giving the best recommendations, as far as really, you know, giving you that that full experience. Yep. And if the product gives you that, then you're going to come back and use it again. Right. So because the need is there. The need is definitely yeah. there. And nobody, nobody actually brought it. it. Yeah. And nobody yeah. put it into one website. Like if I want right. a movie, I'll go to IMDb. But you know, it's all separated into different websites. Yeah. So. In Aspen this weekend, I just got back from uh, the Belly Up Bar is the f most famous bar in Aspen, but they have different acts that play each night, some of which are probably not that good and some mm -hmm. of which are really extraordinary. Yeah. Do you uh, mix like the band, the ringing for the band, along with the rating of the place? And can you tell me this is the best place to go to tonight? Because maybe my favorite band is playing at the, other, the, the, at the competitive bar. Right. which might not be as good overall, right. but because my favorite band is at that bar, all of a sudden that becomes more important to head to. I, I think that at the end of the day, it is a user-generated database that will be you know, created here, and we won't be able to control what people will recommend. But eventually, the evolution of user-generated websites like Snooks is that the good stuff will be the first at the letter, yeah. and, you know, and then it goes like, uh, in the hierarchy that uh, the good stuff will be up there and the bad stuff will not be there. So if you look for a certain restaurant based on a, a band that you love and your friends love, probably when you search for that, that will be first. Yeah. So it will, be, it will happen naturally. I think one of the things also that, that some of the services currently have, like you know, some of them focus on mo only mobile, and I think that it's important to give that web experience as well. Because on the web, it all looks you know, visually stimulating. And you can look at the different pictures of the different recommendations, for example. And, and I think that the fact that Snooks is giving both the mobile and the web experiences is yeah. very important. I, I, I'm, I'm, uh, when I travel, I take my iPad. So I'm, I'm starting to disagree with you. I'm mm -hmm. starting to go completely mobile. For all of this, well, so even now. iPad. I mean, for the, yeah, the iPad, the screen is obviously bigger, and yeah. you know. Um, but usually, when we're making decisions, we're walking out of the hotel and we're looking right. at our mobile. Right, right. And it's, it's yes. not a web thing anymore for me for traveling. Yeah. Um, I totally agree. By the way, uh, our mobile strategy is obviously very important. But let's face it, we're all old. Okay, yeah. and the young kids today, I don't think they'll even know what a PC is in like two years. Everything's uh, going to be mobile. A high-end traveler, I just hung out with a bunch of them. They are mobile only. Only yeah. mobile, and exactly. It's certainly the skiers that I was hanging out with, they That's are sure. mobile only. only. <laughs> you know? So we have to, we're optimizing that experience. Yeah. Right. We, but we want but to you be asked me, You asked me before, for example, what's, you know, what's the difference between this or, or recommendations uh, uh, using Foursquare. So Foursquare is very geolocation based. Yeah. And, and this, for example, I can do in advance. Like if I know that I'm going to Rome or, or Paris, then I can go on the website, on the Snooks website, and kind of plan my trip in advance. Yeah. You know, so it has the, the advanced feature where you can do stuff in advance and also the real time. Yeah. And, and the web enables for that. I'm doing even that on my mobile phone now. I'm not doing any planning on the, on the desktop That's anymore. It. Because I'm walking around and as people tell me, oh, you got to go here. Yeah. I'm yeah. Like that. <laughs> so yeah. I'm using mobile first for the whole thing. Um, OK, you're in a crowded space. You, yeah. it, you know, at Salesforce last week, two weeks ago, uh, Mark Benioff asked everybody who uses Yelp. Every single hand went up. Yeah. How are you going to get? Uh, maybe not people not, not to stop using Yelp, but how do you get to build a brand that people recognize at that, at that level? It's a combination. It's a new product. Uh, so naturally, the challenge is, is huge. We're not saying that it's not. On the other hand, we believe that we're 
combining here three main um, areas where people today look for their friends first and every time when we go to travel or wherever we go and we want to make any decision we first look for our friends this is what happens so it's it is a major difference which we believe that it has a lot of value so this is one second we're having this platform very you know visual very impressive we allow people to share their stuff in an impression yeah. like display we call it display uh, what? Yeah. Impressive. Impressive, uh, uh, like display of, of places they, they recommend or anything they recommend. Yeah. And it brings people, you know, the recognition that they love to, to get and, and help their friends. Uh, so combining those two together with the social trend that we all going through, Facebook and Twitter and all those networks, and leveraging that makes it like a one community all over the world that we can each one share recommendations. These three elements makes it a very, very valuable product. And when you go out there and with Yelp or anyone else that cover that area, when you don't get your friend's recommendations, it's a big difference. And we yeah. believe that this is what will make the change. Also, I think that Yelp is very big here in the States and, and not so big uh, in other places around the world. Salesforce had people from 60 countries and every single um, hand went up in that room. Every hand. I'm so telling you. Don't, don't undercount you Yelp's know, ability to you know, spread fast you know, and outrun you guys. When, when <laughs> we went through that, like we're five, five months here uh, with Snooks yep. uh, since actually I came uh, and uh, we went live like about two weeks ago in an alpha mode. Uh, anyone that we asked during those five months, what would you do first if you had to choose a hotel in Thailand? The first thing they, all of them said, I will ask a friend which hotel he would recommend. Yeah. And this was the first question that we, we, we asked and 100% of them, this was the answer. So okay. this is what they do every day. So we believe that it's a big difference. So where do we learn more about it? Where do we get it? Go to snooks.com. And it's spelled weird. So S-N-O-O-X. Very cool. And uh, it's on the iTunes store. It will be in a couple months, right? Right. So oh, you, nice. the first is the web, then the mobile exactly. site comes right. out. Right. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks, Thanks for coming out. Yeah, thank you. So thank much. you. Thank you. Thank you.